Welcome to Language is a Temptation, Daily Readings from Bernadette Mayer's Memory. My name is Lisa Pearson. I'm the founder and publisher of Siglio Press. And as you're tuning in, you know that Poets House is hosting this celebration of memory, which Siglio recently published. Almost 50 years ago, in July 1971, Bernadette Mayer embarked on an experiment. Each day, she exposed a roll of 35 millimeter film and kept a journal. The result was a groundbreaking conceptual work that investigates the nature of memory, its surfaces, textures, and material in both image and text. Originally, Bernadette created an installation in 1972 composed of the more than 1,100 photographs she took that she mounted in a grid that was 36 feet long and more than four feet high with a six hour audio recording of her voice reading the entire text. At the time, the photography critic A.D. Coleman wrote in the Village Voice that memory, quote, explores photography not as an art, but as a tool which has extended our vision in ways we have yet to comprehend. The text, without the photographs, was published in 1975 by North Atlantic Books, but it sold out and has since been an expensive rarity. So for decades, memory has been legendary, but largely invisible. Recently, the exhibition was remounted in 2016 at the Poetry Foundation in Chicago and in 2017 at Canada Gallery in New York City. When her daughter, Marie Warsh, proposed publishing the entirety of Memory to me, I didn't hesitate to say yes. I had already published a small excerpt of it in 2011, and it is almost that, a collection of image text work by women artists and writers, and this is exactly the kind of book Siglio publishes, uncategorizable, unwieldy, deeply experimental, living in the rich and varied space between art and literature. And I love memory. I love it for its ambition, its sprawl, its attention to the quotidian, its precision, its lists and record keeping, its incantations and reveries, its inhabitations of overheard voices, its energy, its relentlessness. Memory is a universe. While tethered to its time and place, it is also ever expanding acutely aware of its incompleteness. Memory presages to Bernadette's durational and constraint-based diaristic works of poetry, like Midwinter Day and the desire of mothers to please others in letters. She is the formidable author of over 30 books and revered as one of the most innovative writers of her generation. So it is with enormous pleasure that I'm introducing this series, which intends to be its own little experiment, a kind of parallel durational work collapsing then and now infiltrating social media with a different species of recorded self. Each day in July, there will be a reading of a short passage from the corresponding day in 1971. Poets House and Siglio have assembled a diverse intergenerational roster of poets, artists, and scholars who are connected to Bernadette's work in many ways. Some are Bernadette's friends and reoccurring participants in memory. Others are writers who also work with image and text or who work with diaristic or conceptual modes of writing. Some are artists and poets influenced in other ways by Bernadette who study or simply who love her work. My deepest thanks to Poets House, Paulo Javier and Nick Buffin for realizing this multi-tentacled online project. I really hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 